What you've got to remember is, this game is 60% information gathering, 30% skill and map knowledge, and basically 10% luck. So what I'm doing is, I'm finding, when I'm looting, I'm finding short range weapons and long range weapons, because what I tend to do is I drop military base because I know it quite well. So I know where to get all of the loot, and there's always contracts around here as well, so... I'm relatively well equipped, and I know there's a couple of other people around me, but... What I like to do is I like to keep looting, keep looting. And there's a precision airstrike there. Get more weapons. Oh, there's a guy. He died relatively quickly. I keep myself around cover. Grab my weapons for short range and long range. And then I go for the contracts because what I want to do is get them... Get them... Ghost loadouts. Relatively quickly. And I really got lucky there actually seeing that guy. I think I spotted a uh, heartbeat sensor but... I'm going to get it with my ghost loadout soon anyway. So what you want to be doing is you want to be ducking in and out of cover and get that early game intel as soon as possible. Nobody has ghosts to begin with, so it's basically your opportunity to grab contracts and get that loadout as soon as possible. So I've got my shotgun here that has stopping rounds in it, stopping power in it. And I'm just trying to control my area. Find people that are around me. Listening out for footsteps. And it's, I think, now that now that I've got my load, uh, I've got some decent weapons. It's time to grab the contract. So the way I approach contracts or the bounty here is, I know I've got loads of cover around me. Putting stuff, putting objects between me and the bounty. And I know he's out in the open as well. He could be up that tower. Based on where that circle is, he could be up there. But I'm not quite sure, so... I'm going to try and keep myself relatively covered while I'm searching for this guy. Everybody has their own style for early games, but I think I've spotted my contract there. So I'm just going to observe this. I'm not going to just charge in for the kill. I'm just going to observe this and see if he peeks it at all. Because I've got a decent weapon. I've got my Bruin here, which has a scope. And a silent. There he is. And that was relatively simple because he did pink he did peek me again, so quite happy with how that went. So I've got my loadout money. That was easy. So now what I'm doing is I'm moving cover to cover. See if I can hear or see anybody. Controlling my area. And I'm gonna try to get my loadout. Enemy UAV overhead. Just checking all my corners here. And because we're going into this little area here, I'm going short range. I don't need a long range weapon for in here. And I don't, I think we're relatively clear to be fair. So, I'll be alright to get my load out. Here it comes. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to get Ghost because I want to be off that map. I don't want to be showing up on the, on the mini map at all. So, got my ghost load out, and I'm going to take... I've got an AR, so I'm going to take my short-range SMG uh, shotgun again. And the next thing I'm thinking about is getting hold of some UAVs, which means doing another contract. And I've got a heartbeat, so I've got ghost and a heartbeat in a solos match. There's nothing more OP than that, really. 
So again, I'm just listening out for the audio, checking my corners. And we've already been through here, so I'm relatively safe in the knowledge that there's nobody here. Because we've sort of controlled this area and got rid of three or four people. Three people. And this guy looks like he's out in the open again. So we'll try it. And I can hear boxes, so this is all unlooted. But I think that bounty is moving relatively quickly. So what I'm hoping for right now is for somebody to take him out. And he's really far away, so I should be able to keep looting and get some money for a UAV because Soon enough, that first loadout is coming. And I need some valuable intelligence for when that loadout drops. I need to know who's around me. So I'm just, I'll keep scanning the area with my heartbeat. And with my heartbeat, I'm not watching what's on the screen of it. I'm pressing the button to bring up the heartbeat but I'm also looking at the horizon and looking at what's around me. You don't need to look at it because it gives you the audio cue for when when there's an enemy present. So it'll beep at you and then you'll know when when to have a look. So I've got enough here for a UAV. The loadout's about to come down. So I'm going to grab the UAV and find out who is around me. Got my UAV. And the loadout's about to okay, pop. So I'm going to send it. You've got a loadout drop and we've got a couple of people around us. So I guarantee there's going to be three or four loadout boxes here. So I'm not going to dive straight for my loadout, I don't think. Because I know the general direction they are. They were camping in buildings. Yep. There's one there. So I'm going to keep this high ground here. I'm going to grab some cover. And then I'm just going to sit and observe the loadouts. Because that guy is coming for his loadout. But I'm going to stay relatively... Here he is. And I'm going to wait for him to stop. So it's an easy shot. There. So that's one guy we took out. But I don't know where the other one is. Because the UAV has stopped. It's gone home. So I'm going to try it. We'll see how we go. I can't see anybody. And I'm getting shot at. So, I'm grabbing my... Oh, I've got the wrong loadout. He put me under a bit of pressure there. So, I'm just going to move back uphill so I've got the high ground. I have, I've got the wrong loadout. Not to worry. It's a growl, so it's, it's still alright. So, I'm going to grab the high ground again because I know this guy's going for his loadout. And he thinks, he's probably thinking that I've gone. So I'll stay around cover. There's the guy. And I couldn't finish him. If I had the kilo, which is what I was waiting for, I would have got him. That's not his head. So he's going to have to move. So I'm going to chase him because he's going back to these buildings. And we got him. I don't have my heartbeat anymore. I've just realised. Yep, yeah, we don't have my heartbeat. So I'm going to have to go back and get it. It probably dropped on my... Let's just check my corners. It probably dropped when I went for this. Cluster strike as well. Unlucky, mate. 
I've got I've got your cluster now. So he probably nicked it. So I'm gonna have to go and check his body. So right now I'm well prepared for the fights to come. We made it to first loadout. Relatively high kill. Well it's a good start anyway. So I've made it to first loadout, which is exactly the point of the video. So if you found this useful guys, leave a like. I'm just going to stick a claymore on this because he might win his gulag and come back. Claymore, Semtex, goodbye. There we go. So if you enjoyed this one guys, you found it useful, leave a like on the video. If you didn't, leave a dislike, subscribe for more and I'll see everybody in the next video. Toodaloo!